Hey everyone, we are back with part 3. In part 4 we will be going after Void. But for this part my plan is to kill the Mimic because now it's personal. If you want to know what happened, watch part 2. And kill the Swordmaster. Oh, and I also did a bunch of leveling. <laughs> so, yeah, we're basically going to wreck everything we touch. Oh yeah, and I upgraded my weapon again. I need two more Titanite to make it plus three. And 1,312 souls. I opened up the shortcut to get to the Mimic without having our health devastated by the freaking dragon. Oh, I just heard one. Are my eyes... Eyes. Are my ears really that sensitive that I heard him coming? Not that I'm complaining, but dang. Okay, so this time we're going to start with a fully charged heavy attack. See how much damage that does. Basically took out half his health. Holy freaking... Uh, I'm speechless. I genuinely don't know what to say. You can make this weapon such a beast so fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. Between the hyper armor, the damage. Uh, and the fact that it's just, it's not that expensive of a weapon. The upgrades do not cost much. I don't think Vort stands a chance, guys. This build is too OP. Come on. It does this every time. It's like it's a loading fog. But when it goes away, the sword master is basically dead. Well, we basically just killed the sword master because there's no chance he's going to survive this thing. If the mimic, who has at least twice the health, can't survive this thing, what's the sword master going to do? Get wrecked, that's what. Wow, and we tanked that hit pretty well. Yeah, Swordmaster, you're screwed. So that guy usually gives me trouble. Because of his freaking hold move parrying me. But this weapon's so difficult to parry. And it does so much damage, it just owned him. Plus, we have so much vigor now that he couldn't really hurt us much. I think I can legitimately say I'm a beast when it comes to strength builds. And it's all thanks to this weapon. Hmm, let's put it into endurance. Oh yeah, and my advice for while you're inside the shrine, hold your hands like, hang on, uh, like this. So that way you have no chance of accidentally hitting someone with your weapon. 
especially on a strength build. If you hit this lady on a strength build, chances are you're going to one-shot her and, yeah, she's not going to revive, guys. You accidentally hit her once, you won't be leveling anymore. So, that's really something to keep in mind. Alright, we need to wrap this up. Let's wrap it up with... Where is it? Jump for joy, wave, joy... Here we are. Well, that's it for the video, guys. In part four, which will be coming tomorrow, Vort is history.